Oh, there was no, no question in my mind. I just really wanted to be an artist. I can still remember the image of paintbrushes in the nursery school. I've always been drawn to working in various mediums throughout my career. Like my painting, my sculptures are also inspired and informed by nature. When making my brown sculptures, I start some with materials I gather directly from the land, and others I facilitate the sculpture to shape into organic forms. It is an intuitive process. I've never thought of myself as a landscape painter. I think my paintings continue to be a suggesting the quality of the land and suggesting the quality of the sky and the water. This is the Orchard series and this was my memory of our summers in the Santa Clara Valley which was a fields of orchards of apricots and I remember the rows of orchards. And as a child, you could look down them as the car went along. The colors and the, the idea of the fruit developed into that series. The fog in San Francisco was so important because I grew up looking at it, seeing the Thule fog come in across the bay and it obscures what's behind, and you can peek behind some of it. Very happy in layering color, layering layers of paint to get that obscura look. This concept of layering continues uh, from early on in the 60s in my paintings that were layered. And now today, with the Rain Bar series, that same concept continues. Oh, I do like subtlety in my work. And sometimes it's so subtle that I think maybe I've taken it too far. They don't even understand it. With the Patagonia series, the waterfalls have behind them the influence of seeing up close these very beautiful glaciers. We went all the way down to the bottom of the world in a two-week trip to Patagonia. It was a sense of excitement and, and adventure. And then we went to the Igasu Falls, which is was a profound influence. It's the largest, well, the second largest falls on the world. I was seeing all of this at once. And when you see something like that, you come home and it has to take time and germinate in your mind and in your, your body. And then these profound experiences come out in a visual form.